All right, Dale, now we have uh, spring lentils. These are Indian head lentils, uh, kind of an old old variety of uh, lentils. As you can see from the lentils, uh, not nearly as much growth as you're going to get out of batch. Uh, we wouldn't expect that, uh, but they are uh, a little bit cheaper, and I think, in my opinion, they're a little more drought hardy uh, than what a batch plant is, and they're certainly not as competitive. Uh, so lentils make a really nice companion crop. I would never use these as a cover crop by themselves. No. Uh, they're just not competitive enough. They don't grow fast enough. Uh, but as kind of an understory crop, as, as something to add in with uh, some peas and, and batch, it makes a really nice complementary crop uh, to other things. Yeah. One purpose I really like lentils um, is for a companion crop to a newly seeded pasture where you want to control erosion and maybe um, maybe fix a little nitrogen very quickly. I'll, I'll recommend that people, a lot of times people want to put oats in there, which you know is a big, highly competitive plant. It, it does control erosion, but it really competes hard against your new little seedlings. Now, lentils, they're, they're not very competitive, but they, they do kind of make a, a canopy that helps prevent erosion. They're a fair nitrogen fixer. I just love them in that role of blending in with newly planted pastures for that purpose. The other thing that's really good about lentils, uh, like most legumes, but lentils especially, highly mycorrhizal. Uh, yes. Very supportive of your mycorrhizal fungi populations. Uh, and I, so I, for that reason, I like lentils and wax. They're, they're both kind of, kind of non-competitive, kind of fit into the gaps type plants uh, that really support some of those biological populations.